need anything else. That is all I need for now. Fine. Come back anytime. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. But I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you.
spawn. Man your oars. Run up the sail! Hold on. Welcome, traveler, to our lush and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall, who knows what schemes they're hatching. Or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had.
These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Hmm. Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. The end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I am sure he's somewhere. Do not worry, my king! I am coming! King! What happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me! You cut out his tongue! He has no tongue! Because you cut it out! You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear? Hmm. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? You walk in a dream. It is time to wake. What are you saying? What is real may not be as pleasant as a fantasy. But you have people in this world who honor you. It does not matter what you tell me is real. This is what I believe. I believe Alfred has sold us out to the Picts. You betrayed your nation and your people! I denounce and dethrone you! It is a harsh choice, but sometimes you must put fire to a wound to heal it. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. He's still at war with England. That tough old fox is still hanging on. I admit, I am impressed.
More sail! Strike of the tune. You Salskjals got a story. Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Fornberg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home. But my luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth, running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, for it was on its side. As I approached, the ground rumbled, and the crevasse shuddered. Then, wide as a lake and ringed with color. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The eye of Jormungandr, the world serpent. Yes, he sleeps near old Fornberg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day I will show you the place. Is there a sea skull among you? A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. For Scotty, there's only those who speak to her. Yeah, Sing, my ravens. Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Never, nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. Make for the dock! is a foul stench, but we are strong, Ergi. Yes, strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength, your stench. I will feed your teeth, wrapped in your tongue, Vakraut. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. 
Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Pass him. Watch over this one. And see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from multiple eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming?
You Arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Does everyone in Alrechstadir play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream, as you do, like it is really happening. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! I am as hard as Heimdall's tower! Then run me like the Valgrin skates and enter Valhalla! Take all plunder you want, Vikinger! And 
take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Um, not a time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. All in. Skull. Man your horn. <laughs> Show, show,
lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörnjarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. 
We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I am bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross our threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. What do you see, Sunan? It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian ways! Quiet, all! Give me a chance to speak. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear 